Hello. Do you want to be able to use your computer keyboard, like a MIDI keyboard or a piano keyboard or whatever the fuck you want it to be in Super Collider? Well, I'm gonna show you how. So first off, we start by defining a synth. So we do synthdef. And I'm just going to name it my synth. You can name it whatever you want. And we want this to play different tunes for different keys, but you can change it to maybe play different synths on different keys. But with, for this, I'll just show you how to set it up to play different tunes for different keys. And we'll just do a simple syn oscillator. And we want it to be in audio rate because we want to hear it. We're doing MIDI CPS because I find that that's clean tones that actually sound good in my opinion and it's very easy to do with the key code on your computer keyboard keys because if you're going to do it with uh, actual raw frequency you need to multiply it but you can do that as well if you want And what we're going to do is we're going to create a window and when we click a key while having this window open and having this window focused, like if you clicked on the window, that's when we play the tunes. But if we click anywhere else and press the keys, then it doesn't do anything. So key down action tells it do this when a key is pressed down, not when a key is released, only when it's pressed down. And I'm doing wipe dot free here because when we press a key, for example A, and then we press S, I want whatever tune that we started playing with A to stop when we press S. So that's why I'm using Y dot free. You can choose to add more tunes every time you press a key, but that can become a bit chaotic. And I prefer keeping it, yeah, I prefer just hearing one tune at a time for this, but you are free to do as you want. I'm also adding an if statement here because I find that midis over 71, they don't really sound good, at least with my headset and with my ears. So I don't want to hear them. So I'm going to do some uh, modularity so that I'm going to change uh, if the tune is going to have a higher MIDI CPS than 71 I'm going to change it so that it fits into the range I want it to be and that's what I'm doing here I'm dividing it sort of by 22 and whatever is left over from that division I add to 50 so if if my key code is 45, uh, that means I can divide it in 22 two times. So I get 44 and then I have one left over because it's 45. And that one left over is what's the result of this modularity. And then I add it to 50. So my frequency will get the argument 1 plus 50, which is 51. In this if statement I have here, the first parameter here is if the if statement is true and the second is if it's false. Here I if it's false then I don't need to do any modularity so I'm going to change I'm going to save my computer some calculations. I'm also going to add a y.0 up here because y is not initialized just because I don't want to get an error later. I had forgotten a parenthesis for the if statement. So here we have our synth We initialize why, don't have to, but I like it. And now we press a key and I press A. I hear this too. S, D, F, G, H. And here you can see uh, between G and H, 
uh, it loops back to the lower tones instead of progressing from any from this to a higher tone it rewraps itself around to a lower tone so it's not actually aligned with your keyboard like a s d f g h j k l or q w e r t y u i o p it actually is arranged alphabetically a b c d e f g a h you 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 know the alphabet i assume but anyway here is how you play a tune for the different keyboard presses and if you want you can you can write out using post line what it is that uh, you're pressing so i could do a post line and copy this and you can also uh, it's useful to post which key you're pressing as well now we're going to get an error because we uh, have not written anything on Y so we're going to get an error on the first key press but then after that you can see it writes and here you can clearly see the wraparound at H and that's just because of my modularity over here and you can choose your modularity to be whatever you want to be you can choose 22 like me you can choose 40 you can choose not to have any modularity but that sounds like shit in my opinion but the choice is yours and here you can see a b c d e f g h j You can see that it's uh, arranged alphabetically. And then it wraps around once it, whenever it reaches above 71. So that's it for this tutorial. Hopes it helps all you poor guys out there who, like me, don't have any MIDI keyboards because you're broke. And you only have your computer keyboard.